Hey guys, this is Todd, and uh, today what I'm showing you here is another flask cap that uh, me and my partner built. Uh, Azel was my um, pair programming partner on this one, and our weekend project was to uh, build a storefront web app using Flask and Python uh, for a fictional business of our choosing. So he decided he wanted to do a, a mug business called Mean Mugs, so I was like, okay. Um, so this is what we came up with and really we, we built this in one weekend. So here's our inventory there. Uh, you can see, um, sign up page, sign in page. Um, if you click on a mug, it takes you to that mugs page. Um, let's see, you can add something to the cart. Oh. You need to log in to add something to your cart. Uh, let's do Todd. And uh, nope, don't want to save that. Nope, sure don't. The flash, flash messages um, come in on top. Uh, green ones and red ones. You'll see the nav bar updated when I logged in. It says hi. Um, and then also uh, it shows my cart and a logout button. Um, since my user profile is flagged as an admin, I also have access to this admin link. Um, so check out the cart. Oh, nothing in there. So uh, let's add a little bit of this. Okay, good, good. Um, I can remove things from the cart if I want to. Uh, I can clear all the items from the cart. I can check out. Um, here it shows you the item and the quantity item and uh, the price for that number of those coffee mugs. Then down here it tells you the, the running total of, of all the items in your cart. Um, so you can see here uh, 105.98. Good. Uh, if you have two of the same, uh, if you add to cart, then it'll just uh, update the quantity of that mug instead of having two of the same mug. Uh, so now we're at 205.97. Um, if you use the checkout or clear cart buttons, a little modal will pop up. Uh, and there we go. You check out, uh, then submit to um, charge your card and, and ship the items. So go ahead and do that. And good. We're good to go. Uh, the admin page. Um, I added a little form here just to make people admin when I added the uh, admin functionality. And the reason I needed to <laughs> make the admin functionality was uh, because I needed this form here. I needed a form to um, add, add, uh, add bugs to our database. Uh, so that's what this form does. Um, and then down here, it actually shows our inventory and we can actually delete items from the inventory if we no longer want to um, sell those mugs. So, so yeah, that's, uh, that's it. We'll log out there. Okay. So anyway, that's, you know, I think that's not bad for a, uh, a weekend project. Uh, here's the file. Um, You'll see that on this one, we did the, uh, we utilized the blueprints. And so we had a separate auth folder for our, um, for our routes that had to do with the authorization. Um, and then actually he made a separate form uh, file here too, just for those uh, routes. But I actually just used this one and <laughs> I just put my form when I made forms, I put them onto that. You know, so he included the user in the login. And so I made these other uh, these other forms just in, in this auth folder, which is not right. But uh, I don't know why I even did that. Um, uh, the static folder and then all the templates uh, and then the routes where, of course, all the 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 big magic happens, you know. Um, that controls uh, exactly how everything interacts um, with each other. This is how we, uh, this was <laughs> the big ad mug. Originally, I just made this to add mugs, but then it just kept getting, you know what? Um, let's turn that ad mug page into the whole admin page and just add all the admin functionality on there. So um, that's what we ended up having to do with that. And then down here, here are the routes for the, um, 
for the login and the log out and the uh, uh, we do um, encrypt the password um, in the database so that uh, no one can access your password. It wasn't like that on the last app, the one that I built myself, um, the Pokemon app. I hadn't um, really utilized the um, this check password hash, uh, so I wasn't able to... Um, wasn't able to use that. Anyway, I hope uh, I hope this you know uh, inspires you to uh, to go out there and uh, start coding something, start building something. Um, take a free course, take a boot camp, do whatever, but uh, get out there and get coding because this is exciting. It's exciting to be able to uh, build something. You know, just with functionality just be able to build whatever you want whether it's a game like that pokemon game that i made or a storefront like this mean mugs website that uh, my pair programming partner and i put together um, next uh, this week we're learning javascript and then the next two weeks we're going to be learning react and so i'll be uh, building more apps with react and i can't wait that'll be awesome so so yeah um that's it Happy coding.